At about 3.20 in the morning, the cold, pasty light of my computer monitor was splashed against the cheaply wallpapered walls of my dorm room, casting thick shadows that clawed at the corners of my eyes. My fingers gently ran across the keyboard in front of me. The biology paper was due tomorrow, and I had foolishly decided to leave it until now. Desperate to finish, but equally desperate not to wake up my roommate, who was annoyed at me already, I pressed on with the paper, eyes straining against the harsh text on the screen. I was slipping into drowsiness, when a clicking echoed throughout the room, jolting me awake like a gunshot. I turned around and saw that the printer was printing something. Figuring I pressed print by accident, I stretched over the printer to hit cancel, but my shaky hand hesitated when I saw what was being printed. It was some kind of test page. Color charts, like grayscale sections adorned the crisp white paper. At the bottom, a short line of text read, The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Followed by, The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I breathed heavily. <sighs> on one hand, it was simply a test page, but on the other, it was a waste of valuable ink and paper. I placed it down again and tried to press on with the essay. Fifteen minutes passed until the same clicking sound once again emanated from my printer. I swore I watched with dismay as it printed out another sheet. Figuring someone was sending me test sheets over a network as a prank, I pulled out the network cable and inspected the sheet. The quick brown jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. In rage, I screwed it up. I threw it into the bin. After stopping for a break to calm down, I flushed rage from my body and sat down once again to work. The printer whirred as soon as I started typing. I flung my keyboard to the ground and swung a punch at the printer, denting the front. We are the quick brown fox. Quick brown fox. Confusion replaced my anger when I looked at the third sheet of paper. It wasn't a test sheet. It wasn't some prank over the network. Perhaps I had a virus or someone had hacked my computer to print these things? That seemed like a logical explanation. At least until the sheet printed www.quickbrownfox.com www.quickbrownfox.com those were the only legible words on the sheet. The rest was garbage, just random patterns of letters. Testosterone coursed through my veins, and I tore the printer away from the wall and flung it across the room. It wasn't printing anything else anymore. When my fit of childish rage was over, I ran my hands over the battered printer. The casing was battered, and the screen cracked, but it looked otherwise intact. I went back to the computer, and out of curiosity, typed in the address on my web browser forgetting all about the pending biology paper. The website I got was poorly formatted and seems like it hadn't been updated since 2003, not 2013. It was cluttered with crap, more random letters and numbers. More interesting to me was this one paragraph though, clumped in the middle of the page. It read, and so shall the armies of Satan emerge from the pit and devour the earth and make war up unto the God. Let us be joyful for that the reign of the tyrants is at the end. The blood of the one man shall not tell when the blood of the one man shall not tell. We are the quick brown fox. To me, it seemed like some kind of religious fanatic bullshit, but... I didn't care how they got into my printer anymore, I was, I was bored. My hand moved from a mouse to the exit page and then I spotted a video. I played it just to see what it was like. This was a mistake. It was shaky camera footage of a roadside the late afternoon. The cameraman wasn't visible, but I could see the corner of a car. He walks over a bundle of something by the side of the road. As it gets closer. I see it's a dead fox, probably hit by a car. The man's hand extends. He gently strokes the fox's face before whispering, when the blood of the one man shall not tell. There's a clinking elsewhere in the dorm room. 
possibly the kitchen. I cursed myself for waking my roommate. I walked into the kitchen to apologize for the disturbance, and my heart dropped through my feet. On the sparkling tiles is the fox from the video, stretched out, crucifixion style in front of me, a printed page in front of the fox, soaked in its congealed blood, reads, the blood of the one man shall not tell. I look up at the kitchen, and I see, scrawled in fox's blood, we are the quick brown fox. Thank you.